Welcome to the CoSpace Robot family. Today we will be introducing you to CoSpace Robot Autonomous Delivery. CoSpace Autonomous Delivery Challenge Rules. The game will last six minutes. Participants are required to program the robot to complete the challenge. Teams will need to develop and program appropriate strategies for the robot based on the intelligent transportation system provided by CoSpace platform. A team will gain points by depositing packages to collection stations. For delivery task 1, all packages are already loaded, so restocking of packages are not required. Please refer to the slides for more details. To successfully deliver a package, the robot must have its LED blinking and stay still for two seconds. The robot should leave the collection station automatically after delivery. CoSpace Autonomous Delivery Procedure Launch the CSR Auto Delivery 2023. Select Compete. Select Open. On the CoSpace Autonomous Delivery Robot, you can find three ultrasonic sensors and one compass sensor. In the virtual environment, you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to control the robot. In the virtual environment, click on Display and then Delivery System. This will display more information on the virtual world. The control panel displays various information such as ultrasonic sensor readings, coordinates of robot, distances from robot to the different nodes, angle between robot and road, offset and direction. The first three information displayed are the readings from the front, left, and right ultrasonic sensors. The next three display the nearest ID and distances to each navigation point, distribution center, and collection station. After that is the X and Y coordinates of the robot in the compass direction. The control panel also displays the delta angle and delta distance. Delta angle is the angle between the robot and the road center line. Delta distance is the distance from the center of the robot to the intersection of the vertical line of the robot's central axis and the center line of the road. This is equal to the distance from the center of the robot to the center line of the road, divided by cos, delta angle. To create your first program, click on the AI button. This will bring up the development panel. At the top of the development panel, you will find some file management buttons. These will be useful when creating your program. To program the robot, you need to write statements based on your AI strategy planning. There are three properties that must be defined for each statement. Conditions, actions, and priority, set by order of the statements. Conditions are inputs from the environment. Actions are outputs to control the robot. Priority is the statement order. The higher the statement, the higher the priority. These are the main actions and explanations of what each of them are used for. We will now go through an example on how to create your first program. Based on the delivery task, we will now create a program for the robot to execute. Click on the AI button to open the AI development panel, which contains the AI programming interface. On the top of the interface, you'll find some file management buttons. To create a new project, click the New Project button. Give your project a team ID, team name, and project name. The default root directory for the project will be in your CoSpace auto delivery folder. You can choose to set up the directory in another location on your computer by clicking the file icon. Click OK once all the information is correct. Remember, once the team ID and team name are confirmed, they cannot be changed anymore. However, you can still change the project name, if you wish. Each program statement is separated into two parts, conditions and actions. Conditions are inputs from the environment, and when they are met, the corresponding statement's actions will trigger outputs that control the robot. The program considers statement priority based on their order. The higher the statement, the higher the priority. Once a statement's condition is found to be true, subsequent conditions will not be evaluated. 
and the program will loop from top down again. Clicking on the info icons beside parameters will display their information tab, which explains what the parameters are used for, the variables utilized, and their value ranges or settings. There are also advanced conditions and actions where you can code in detail using the programming language you've chosen. Firstly, let's make a statement that makes the robot deliver packages successfully at collection stations. To create a new statement, click on the plus icon. Give the statement a meaningful name. We will name the statement delivery. After the statement name is defined, we will add conditions to the statement. Set collection station ID to be between 0 and 15 and the distance range to be from minus 2 to 2. This means the robot will sense for every collection station, and once it is close enough to any one of them, the conditions will be met and the statement's actions will run. Next, we will define the actions to deliver the package successfully. Firstly, the LED must be blinking, so set LED status to flash. Secondly, the robot must stay still for at least two seconds, so set both wheel speed to zero and duration to be 80 units, which equates to two seconds. Lastly, to make the robot leave the distribution center automatically after, we will utilize advanced action. First increase duration to 100 units and then click the writing icon to edit the advanced action code. Now we can begin coding in Python. If duration is less than 20, which means the robot has stopped for at least two seconds, we will make the robot leave the collection station and turn off its LED by setting both wheel speed to 60 and LED to 0. For C users, this is the aforementioned code in C syntax. Next, let's make another statement called forward that makes the robot drive forward to reach the collection stations. We'll leave the conditions empty. Under actions, to make the robot drive straight forward, set both left and right wheel speed to the same value, 40. Once you've completed programming, it is very important to save and build your program. Save will save the most recent program that you've just completed. Build checks for syntax errors, create a Python source file for Python users, or create a C source file and a dynamic data link file for C users in the program's root directory. Now you can click on the preview button to inspect the robot's behavior. Pressing the debug button will bring up the debug information tab that displays the variables and their values when the robot is running. In settings, you can choose which variables to display or hide by selecting or deselecting the boxes beside the variables. If we only want to monitor the current duration value, the closest collection station's ID, and its distance from the robot, we will only check the corresponding variables boxes. Press OK once you are done to apply the new settings. You can also click the robot button to display or hide the robot's information panel. Turn on the delivery system to get a better view of the station. Once you're ready, press the play button to run the program. As you can see, the robot's information is being updated in real time on the information panels. And the robot is able to successfully deliver packages, scoring points. You can freeze the game by pressing the pause button. To resume the game, press the play button. If you wish to modify the program, Click on the Stop button to return to the AI development panel. Next, we want the robot to deliver to Collection Station, S1, right after the first delivery at S3. Using the delivery system, we can see that the robot will need to perform a right angle left turn at navigation point P17 in order to reach S1. Step 1. We will create a new statement name turn P17. Step 2. Add conditions to the statement that only checks if the distance from navigation point 17 is between 0 to 2. Step 3, under action, set duration to 100, left wheel speed to minus 30 and right wheel speed to 30 to perform a stationary left turn. To make the robot stop turning after it is facing S1, we will set an advanced condition. By manually driving the robot and using the information panel, we can see how direction changes with regards to where the robot is facing. Right is 90, bottom is 0, left is 270, and the top of the screen where the robot should be facing and heading after the turn on P17 is 180. Based on the analysis in advanced condition, we will write an if condition that checks if the robot's direction, rotation Z, is about to be facing the top of the screen, 160. And when the condition is met, the robot will stop turning and leave the navigation point by, setting both wheel speed to 60 and resetting the duration to zero. This is the aforementioned code in C as syntax. Remember, the robot considers the statements from the top down. So if the forward statement is above turn 17, the robot will not perform the turn when it reaches the navigation node 
and will continue executing the forward statement's actions as the forward. Statement doesn't have any conditions and will always be true. To change the order of statements, click on the statement you want to shift and use the arrow buttons to move it up or down. You can also delete statements by pressing the minus button. Now save and test the program. We can monitor the robot's movement from different perspectives by selecting different viewing modes in main window from the top menu bar. Choosing main camera provides the global or bird's eye view of the field. Choosing CS bot front camera provides the first person or driver's view of the robot. Choosing CS bot following camera provides a tracking third person view of the robot. You can also enable a top down global camera view in a separate window by clicking display and then overhead camera from the top menu and then selecting yes beside display in the pop-up. You can adjust the window's position and size by changing their corresponding attributes values. Once you are done, click OK to apply the settings. CoSpace Auto Delivery allows you to fully program the robot in Python programming language. Let's use the first program we created before, my first program, as an example. Open the project by selecting the program's SMP file. Click the Python icon. Your CoSpace program will be automatically converted into Python code. The Python code consists of variable definitions, system functions, and AI functions that you can modify. Let's look at the forward statement. If none of the above statement's conditions are met, set both wheel speeds to 40. The highlighted red segments on the right shows the interpretation of the forward statement in Python. We will modify this statement by changing both wheel speeds to 80. Now save the Python code as a new Python file. Name my first Python. Python files end with the file extension.py. We will now run the modified program by loading the newly created Python file, my first python.poi, in the control panel, and then press the play button. You will notice the change in speed when the robot runs forward. For C users, CoSpace Auto Delivery also allows you to fully program the robot in C programming language. After opening your C project in the development panel, Click on the C icon to convert your program into C code. This is the interpretation of the forward statement in C. Increase the speed values to 80. Once you have finished modifying the program, save the program as my first C.C. However, the control panel doesn't allow C files to be loaded as an AI program. C users will have to generate a DLL file with their C program to run it. To generate your C program's DLL file, firstly, open the AI development panel. Secondly, click on Upload AI to Robot. Select Virtual Robot. Click on the folder icon and select the My First C.C program file. Finally, pressing the Upload button will build the DLL file in the same directory file as the C program, providing there is no coding error in the program. To run the modified C program, load the newly generated my first c.dll file and press the play button. Notice how the left and right wheel speeds are now set to 80 instead of 40 when the robot is running forward. 